Ready. That systems go. The warm-up for this hypersonic propulsion system at the University of Central Florida. So we're simulating the flight condition of the engine right here. Dr. Karim Ahmed and his team are working on propelling rockets at speeds even faster than sound. This is Mach 5 inside. Outside, the vehicle will be flying at Mach 6 to Mach 17. They're working to get people to outer space much faster and reduce emissions along the way with this one-of-a-kind technology. It's a supernova-like explosion that you're harnessing the energy that's coming out of it to propel you forward. What does that mean for folks on Earth? That one day you may be able to travel from New York to London in just five minutes. So yes, yeah, it's, it's super exciting. While Ahmed is spearheading new launch technology across campus, Dhaka Sapkota's team is focusing on how rockets land, hoping to avoid issues like this, where blasts of sand could disrupt other instruments already in space. When we pour the regolith through it, so this is Sapkota's prototype, demonstrating how machines could be used to melt down soil on the moon to create a landing pad. Our work is to use the materials from the moon so that we can save so much money and then, and then the energy. These machines sift through the soil, separating the materials so they can be melted down. So our whole goal is to make a sustainable some, uh, lunar explore explorations. So that once the landing pad is built, it'll be reusable uh, many times. Both experiments are still in the works, but Dr. Ahmed's team hopes to have an engine ready for demonstration in about three years. At UCF, Marley Martinez, West 2 News. That is pretty cool.